Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding hero pairs for season TI. At first we are going to speak regarding the best uh, hero pairs for every single legion which is accessible for us. I'm gonna speak like pay to win hero pairs, also I'm going to speak about free to play uh, hero pairs and in the end I will show you guys my legions uh, which legions i'm going to take to the season ti in order for me to be relevant and try to be as successful as possible also we are going to discuss some artifacts some um, war pets which will be suitable for those those hero pairs so stick around and watch the video and you will find out very informative information about call of dragons in general at first, as always, we are going to speak regarding infantry uh, type of heroes and for Season TI we have a variety of infantry heroes which we can use. One of the most uh, important and the most strongest infantry hero pair even for uh, pay to win player and uh, free to play player if you get a Goresh is uh, Goresh and Skolgul, one of the best um, infantry hero pairs in the game currently. Uh, like you are having a high amount of mobility with Goresh and Skolgul. Also, you have amazing talents. Uh, infantry rally and uh, tank is a great uh, talent tree for infantry heroes. So, in general, you will never go wrong about Goresh and Skolgul, especially if you are an infantry player and if you are infantry main. Right? So, like I understand it's really difficult to unlock Goresh if you are a free-to-play player like me. Maybe you got lucky, maybe whenever Season TI will start you will get uh, Goresh on a free uh, spins, but we still need to speak about the hero, we need, still need to speak about the hero pair. So, infantry uh, mains, Goresh and Skolgul, always great, always strong, newest heroes of our season, of our game. And like in general, I think uh, the Deputy Goresh will be much much stronger because Rally is a great talent tree if you want to be rallying enemies. Uh, but I would recommend rallying in general if you are free, uh, pay to win player and if you are spending money in the game. If you are not spending money in this game, then I wouldn't recommend to rally enemy um, towns uh, in general. That's a tier 5 player's job. Uh, the infantries are in general much much better if you are a tier 5 player. Now, if you are tier 4, well, you are not getting as much counter-attack damage, you are not getting as much uh, tankiness, that's why you are pretty weak. Um, one and main uh, hero pair is Goresh and Skolgul, and after that, of course, we have more infantry heroes, but for Goresh and Skolgul, I would suggest you to use the artifact for Goresh, uh, which was made especially for him. Uh, and also, like regarding Warpets, um, Bruinbeer is a uh, Warpet especially made for Goresh and Skolgul. Like even theme is close to it, like brown, these guys are brown, kinda orcs, so... Uh, the uh, artifact will be this Tarnborn, or like I don't remember the name of the... Uh, artifact but we can check it always here uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, read the name but this is the artifact for Gore Goresh and Skolgul so if you have it you can try to play with those hero pairs the another hero pair which will be amazing for season TI will be uh, Madeline and Garwood which got popular like time passed like more uh, we are playing this game more we are fighting more interesting hero pairs appear for us like it was uh, popular Madeline and Nika uh, in the past but after the introduction of Skolgul and Goresh Madeline got a new hero pair which is Garwood um, I guess the main idea of Madeline and Garwood is all about like legion capacity 15,000 more troops you are receiving from Madeline by one skill uh, and like in general Garwood is all about staying alive and all about being as strong as possible but Madeline's job is to deal damage with counter-attack uh, damage and also skill factors also you are getting physical kin uh, so like this is a quite interesting hero pair Madeline is like more of a damage dealer type of hero and Garwood is more of like staying alive and being more tanky. Uh, I would put uh, Madeline as a primary hero because I really really like infantry, PvP and tank talents. Uh, also, the Dragon Rift is one of the most uh, unique and most great artifacts for Madeline uh, simply because you are getting physical kin 
and uh, Madeline is receiving physical kin from her main uh, skill. So synergy is pretty simple. If you don't have Goresh and if you don't have Skolgul and there is no chance that you can play with those heroes, you can always go with Madeline and uh, Garwood. Garwood is easily gettable from the gold chests. Uh, Madeline is also easily gettable because we had many different lucky spins where you we could choose Madeline and at least unlock her, uh, especially if you are infantry main. After that, if you don't have uh, any, uh, like, uh, Madeline, if you don't have Skolgul, if you don't have uh, Goresh, uh, what kind of hero pair you could run uh, as an infantry? Well, uh, I would not suggest to play as an infantry if you don't have those heroes, because those heroes are the strongest, but still, if you want to farm, uh, and if you want to, in general, uh, like, use the infantry legion as a multi cast enemy multicast legion like whenever you are using five legions by yourself for farming for example you can go with garwood and eliana it won't be a strong uh, hero pair it will just help you to farm it will help you to tank some event um, enemies and in general that's like average uh, hero pair it was pretty interesting uh, like a couple of seasons ago but after the introduction of uh, Goresh and Skolgul and the new hero pair with Madeline and Garwood, I think Garwood and Eliana got way, way weaker. So, like, regarding uh, Madeline's uh, warpet, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I would go with, like, with a couple of options. One is Tribe Bear. Uh, Stripe Bear is more of a healing, uh, more of a Vigor type of uh, warpet. Second one is Frost Bear. Uh, if you are getting uh, like shields with uh, frost bear, frost bear is dealing more damage, so you are getting shields with Madeline. Uh, if we're gonna choose from these two, I would run uh, frost bear with Madeline and also dragon rift as a uh, artifact for this hero. This is like main uh, hero pairs for the season TI, in my opinion, for the infantry uh, gameplay. Uh, the best one is Skolgul and uh, Goresh and Skolgul. Goresh. Uh, main uh, hero and deputy is Golgul. Second one is uh, Madeline uh, with uh, Garwood. Uh, Madeline as a primary and Garwood as a secondary. And if you don't have any of those heroes, then I would run Garwood with Eliana, but I would not recommend to run Garwood and Eliana in uh, open field battles. It's more of like a support type of uh, hero pair. For Garwood, um, I would go with Sand the Lizard for healing or Stripe Bear for Vigor. Uh, the artifact would be much better to have more defensive type of artifact. Currently I'm having Spring of Silence because I have it and I don't have any other uh, defensive legendary artifacts. But uh, in general I would recommend to use uh, on Garwood more of like a defensive tanky style of uh, artifact. Now um, I would like it's time for us to speak about mages one of the most popular hero pair like um, legion type in the game which have been uh, like same uh, from the creation of the game mages are one of the most popular and one of the most strongest uh, hero uh, like legion types in the game with the range with the skill damage factors so it will be pretty interesting how uh, mages uh, hero pairs will change whenever we're gonna have uh, Bertrand and Dohar. Uh, so far, uh, we don't have Bertrand and uh, Dohar. We are waiting for them to uh, to arrive. But we still need to speak about uh, Season TI hero pair of the mages, right? The strongest one, strongest mage uh, hero pair for Season TI is unfortunately Lilia and Welin. Uh, in my opinion, uh, unfortunately, because uh, Lilia is only gettable for uh, pay to win players, I know it costs one dollar, but if you don't play in pay in this game, uh, you are not paying it, right? Same as me, I'm 100% free to play player, that's why I don't have any of uh, pay to win uh, heroes such as Lilia and such as Hosk. So, uh, most powerful and most like strongest hero pair for season TI in regards of mages are Lilia. And uh, Welin, uh, also like um, I won't gonna speak more deeply about Lilia because it's uh, well known that Lilia is one of the strongest mage heroes in the game. Uh, I know the peacekeeping talent is horrible, but magic and skill is amazing in general. Uh, skill and talent, talent tree for mage heroes are same as uh, precision for marksmen. So whenever you're gonna see a skill talent tree on a mage hero, you need to be happy. 
Um, I won't gonna go deep inside like all the synergies between Welling and uh, Lilia. Like these heroes are with us from the season zero, and it's well known how and why they are so strong. Basically, you are dealing a ton of damage, especially if you have awakened Lilia or awakened uh, Welling. Uh, but straight up, like um, I'm gonna continue speaking about uh, uh, artifacts and warpets. Uh, one of the main warpet for the mages in general are Safar Fedre, one which is quite old already and you can still anytime use it. Also, second one would be Shadow Fedre, it's another a new uh, mage warpet which is uh, pretty successful so far, so we're gonna see how it will perform in the season TI. Uh, regarding like artifacts, uh, Phoenix Eye, um, Shadow Flames, um, like great artifacts, any artifact which will deal a lot of damage with a skill would be suitable for Lilia and Welling. I just like um, uh, Phoenix Eye simply because with Phoenix Eye you are able to deal damage to nearby four legions and whenever you are fighting against a lot of enemies uh, during open field battles you have a pretty good use of the Phoenix Eye in these mass uh, wars against enemy alliances. Another hero pair which is getting more and more popular and which might think, which might look pretty awkward uh, on a first look is Lilia with Thea. Uh, lot of people, lot of tier 5 players have been using Lilia with Thea. Um, I don't know, I'm, I have not tasted it, uh, that's why I would not suggest you to try it, but I'm just uh, speculating, I'm just talking about what I have seen. Uh, Lilia and Thea is getting more and more popular, a lot of uh, tier 5 pay to win players are using it, but um, until I won't gonna try it myself, uh, I won't gonna suggest to you guys, but if you want to think about like unique hero pairs, uh, like people are using Lilia and Thea. So most uh, important and most perfect hero pair for a season TI regarding mages are uh, Lilia and Welin, so what we are going to do if we don't have Lilia, right? You can always run uh, Waldir with Welin. I know Waldir is epic hero, but it's pretty strong, especially when you're gonna awaken uh, Waldir, you will deal damage to three nearby legions, legions, and also like the synergy between Waldir and Welin is pretty amazing. Also, if we're gonna compare Waldir to Lilia, I know Waldir is epic hero and it has way less damage factor on main skill, but as Lilia, Walder has a magic and skill talent tree, and Walder has same magic and skill talent tree. And additionally, uh, Walder has PvP, and Lilia has peacekeeping. That's a minus for Lilia. So if you don't have Lilia and you won't be able to run Lilia Velin, I would suggest you to run uh, Walder and uh, Velin until we will be able to test Bertrand in the season TI. That would be my go-to hero pair in terms of magic uh, and mage hero pairs. Um, so yeah, Lilia and uh, Welling. If you don't have Lilia, Waldir and Welling. Uh, now it's time for us to speak about one of my favorite and my main uh, hero pairs, Marksman Legions, which got pretty interesting uh, as the season is progressing. There is like couple of hero pairs for Marksman uh, players to play around on the season TI. One of the most strongest, in my opinion, currently is Hosk and Kinara. Unfortunately, Hosk is uh, only for pay-to-win players and for to play players like me, it will be, I guess, for now impossible to get Hosk, but still we need to speak about it, right? Hosk and um, Kinara is amazing hero pair, like you can choose, you can put Kinara as a, a main hero or Hosk as a main hero, uh, but like I would still suggest uh, to check your gameplay, whichever you like, and you will uh, like change whenever you want. Um, what's the main idea about Hosk and Kinara is that you are dealing a lot of counter-attack damage. You are really, really tanky. You are like a tank damage dealer. Also, Kinara by itself dealing a lot of debuffs, a lot of damage uh, in his kit. Also, Kinara has a lot of counter-attack damage. Um, Hosk, what Hosk gives us, right? Hosk is giving us some bonuses to buff Kinara. Also, Hosk is giving us... Legion capacity, capacity 15,000 more legion, more troops in your legion, which means you are naturally tanky, it's hard to kill you, you are dealing a lot of damage, counter-attack damage to enemy by just standing there, and uh, thanks to Hosk buffs, 
uh, like Inara is dealing huge amount of damage. So for a marksman type of hero pairs, I would go with Hosk and uh, Kinara if I have Hosk. If I don't have Hosk, there is another hero pair for marksman which I think will be great, uh, which is um, Sindrion and Fragar. Pretty good and uh, pretty straightforward hero pair, uh, specialized in normal attacks. All you need to do is just to stand still and deal as much normal attack crit damage as possible. Um, for the hero, for the war pets and the artifacts so for Sindrion and Fragar, I would go with Gold Crest because Gold Crest is uh, made for Sindrion and it's like specialized. Uh, Artifact. If you don't have gold crests, then I would suggest shadow blades. I would suggest even um, Heart of Kamasi. Uh, like if you are playing with a couple of marksman legions, you are getting great value out of, out of Heart of Kamasi. Or also on this Heart of Kamasi, you have physical attack, uh, keen uh, and onslaught, and you are getting uh, keen and rapid fire on a Syndrion's main skill. So like uh, synergies is pretty clear. Uh, this is like a couple of artifacts which you can use on uh, Syndrium. For the Warpets, um, I think um, Nitrog is an amazing Warpet for Syndrion. If you are playing with Syndrion and Fragar, you 100% should attach uh, Nitrog. If you don't want to play with Nitrog on Syndrion, you can go with uh, Sand Lizard. Uh, it will make you a lot healthier, a lot of healing, a lot of uh, tankiness. Uh, so you will be able to deal more normal attack crit damage to your enemy legions. After that, if you like, for example, don't have Syndrion or Fragar, and if you don't have Hosk, which is pretty normal, uh, which hero pair you would go, right? Uh, like uh, Nico and Kinara, still pretty basic. The hero pair which I am using right now, which I will use in the future of the season TI, uh, damage factor uh, marksman uh, hero pair, your main idea is skill damage with this marksman hero pair and it's pretty straightforward. You are breaking the enemy defenses with your skills and you are dealing as much um, skill damage as possible. Also, Nico has a great precision uh, talent tree and if you are playing this Nico and Dinara, I would 100% recommend to go with the precision talent tree. For the uh, warpath and for the artifact, uh, Snow Peak Rock uh, is a great uh, hero pair for Nico and uh, Shadow Blades is uh, great uh, like any artifact which is going to deal a damage to enemy legions with its skill will be suitable for uh, Nico and Kinara. Uh, now like uh, we I think we finished talking about marksmen like strongest legion in marksmen is Sindrion and Fragar, then Hosk and Kinara and if you don't have any of those then I would go with uh, Nico and Kinara pretty basic uh, pretty easy to get Nico because you can get him from the gold uh, chest so try to uh, farm uh, Nico's skills if you don't have Sindrion and if you don't have Hosk right uh, now it's time to speak about cavalry uh, hero pairs, which are pretty weak in my opinion. I think we will get more uh, cavalry heroes, more interesting heroes in season TI. But for now, we need to speak with what we have. And uh, like actually, not a lot have been changed uh, regarding cavalry heroes um, since the season uh, uh, two plus. Uh, still, one of the most popular and one of the strongest hero pairs uh, we have in Cavalry section in Season TI will be Emrys and Bakshi, Bakshi or Emrys. Uh, if you like more mobility, you will go with uh, Emrys. If you like more skill damage, you will go with Bakshi as a primary hero. Uh, for the um, war pet, which will be suitable for this hero pair, I think uh, Berserk, Berserk Fedrake will be totally fine and regarding uh, artifacts uh, there is a lot of artifacts uh, which you can get for the Emrys uh, currently uh, first one is Sorland's Blade, second one is Kingslayer uh, even you can use Tormero so you can you have uh, many different uh, ways of playing with the Cavalrys uh, currently uh, but I would still suggest to uh, like run more of a damage type of uh, cavalry unit and I would not even suggest to use cavalry in wars it's more of a flanking and one by one one versus one uh, fights uh, with the cavalry heroes in this game so this is like first hero pair second one I would go with Emrys and Forondil or Forondil with Emrys 
yeah, pretty interesting hero pair, more of a mobility type of hero pair, which will be totally fine. Well, it depends what kind of terrain we will have on a Tamaris map on a season TI. Uh, so, like, yeah, you can generally use Forondil in any kind of cavalry hero pairs. But still, I think um, uh, Emrys and Bakshi and or Bakshi and Emrys are the strong and strongest cavalry hero pairs in the game. Also, simply because both of these heroes can be gettable from the gold chests and even if you are spending or not spending in this game, you are naturally upgrading levels of those heroes simply by just playing the game. Other than that, there is not much of the hero pairs. Like I know, like Theodore is like kinda good. Uh, you can run, I think, Theodore with uh, Bakshi. Uh, you can run Theodore with uh, Emrys, and you can run Theodore with uh, Forondil. Uh, one good thing what Theodore has is a skill talent tree. But still, I think uh, in order for you to deal a high amount of damage with cavalry units, you need to have high skill levels on your skills. Uh, that's why I suggest to run Bakshi and Emrys in Season TI. Now, like one of the most interesting parts of flying uh, heroes, uh, we already spoke about infantry, we spoke about uh, marksmen, mages, uh, cavalry, and now it's time to speak about flying heroes. Now, there is a couple of flying um, hero pairs which will be interesting for you to try in Season TI. Uh, like, TI is like main cornerstone for every kind of hero pair which is in flying uh, uh, status. Well, if you, go, if you want to play with uh, Spring Wardens, you will go Thea with Forondil or Forondil with Thea. Uh, it will help you to make your uh, Forest Eagles uh, way, way stronger. So, if you are Spring Wardens, go with Thea and Forondil. Uh, if you are playing with Wilderberg and you have Marksman Wyverns, then I would go with uh, Thea and Craig. Honestly, that's the only hero pair, Marksman hero pair, which is flying, Craig. So, I think uh, in Season TI we are able to get a uh, Marksman flying hero to pair, with, pair up for the Wyverns, so let's see. But if you are playing with the Celestials and if you are playing with League of Order, then I think you are going to go with the Thea and uh, Atheus or Atheus and Thea. Always great hero pair, uh, always uh, great using uh, Celestials as a mages and dealing damage from the uh, range. Like in general, I think uh, like if you are more of a flying hero, uh, flying uh, legion type of player, you will always use Thea, and like this is the main hero, you need to invest uh, in Thea if you are a, a flying uh, type of player in general, right? This is like uh, my opinion, the strongest uh, hero pair in season TI. Uh, some of them were paid to win, some of them were strictly uh, free to play hero pairs. I hope you will like uh, this um, uh, informative guide about, in general, what kind of hero pairs will be strong in Season TI. Now I will try to show you uh, how I'm going to play on Season TI, how I will start. Uh, this will be my hero pairs for upcoming season. Um, tell me what do you think, uh, this will be like my main uh, hero pairs, Nico and Kinara, simply because I have been investing all of my legendary tokens with Kinara. Uh, Waldir and Welin, simply because I don't have Lilia and I'm not going to have it, uh, because Lilia is a uh, pay-to-win hero. Uh, Sindrion and Freigar, I just got Sindrion from the Season Reset Rewards uh, on a free reel, which I, I got super happy. That's why I'm going to use Sindrion and Freigar, especially I'm a marksman main. Garwood and Eliana, because that's like strongest infantry heroes I have currently. I don't have Gorish. My Madeline is uh, level, like, main skill is level 2. I don't uh, invest in Nika. So, Garwood, Eliana. Eliana is awakened. I will be using this infantry hero pair just to farm and to just farm the Darklings. And uh, for the fourth farming, uh, I'm gonna use Emrys and Bakshi. I'm generally not using uh, cavalry units for fighting in open field. So my open field fighting style will be only with Nico and Kinara, Walder Welling, Syndrome and Freigar. 
Hopefully, they will add more marksman uh, heroes, especially flying marksman hero, and I will be able to make a third marksman hero pair. Uh, this is my... The, I'm a marksman main, that's why I have uh, two, and I'm going to have three marksman uh, hero pairs for the season TI, especially whenever there is a new talent, uh, which will give us uh, additional range to fight against mages. I'm not sure how strong this talent will be, but I'm sure that it will be a lot more fun to play with marksmen than before. I'm playing this game to have fun. I'm not going. I'm, my main uh, goal is not to be one of the best or the best. Uh, I always try to soak up as much fun uh, as possible out of the uh, any game in general. I hope uh, this uh, small or or long guide was informative for you. I hope you understood my idea regarding heroes which we have and regarding the preparation for season TI. If you do, if you like the content, if you like the video, press like, uh, press subscribe. That always brings smile on my face and I always try to make as uh, informative and as educational or ad ad advisable uh, videos and contents for you guys to have more fun, to not get stressed out uh, whenever you are fighting pay to win players. So far, this is all I wanted to speak uh, regarding the hero pairs uh, which we have currently and which we will have for Season TI. Um, whenever new heroes will be added to the game, of course, these hero pairs might change, but for now, we can speak with what, I, what we have. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day, night or evening. I'm gonna be back very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.